Hey guys, in today's video I want to share my idea on capitalism and communism and how to build this communistic society. I want to start with definitions. What is capitalism? Capitalism is an individualism. It's based on it. So communism is, a, is based on collectivism. It's obvious. So, individualism is based on the competition of everyone with everyone. Imagine the pie which is divided by some sections. And imagine just 10 people and everyone has a percentage of this pie. Someone has 30%, someone has 3% and so on. And some of those 10 people realize that he do not want to be hungry and not, doesn't matter if he has 30% or just 1%. He will firstly eat his section of the spy and he will be still hungry and he will be trying to grab a piece of the spy from someone else. Why? Now imagine a businessman which make uh, $50,000 per month and of course he has his competitors and those competitors want to make more money as as well as he wants what they need to do to make more money for example this person can discredit his competitor by um, making a dirty PR for for uh, this competitor and this price for this dirty PR should be include in the price of thing set which he is selling so the price on the thi on this thing will raise as well as competitors will do the same thing and the price on uh, his things to sell will rise and in this model without any feeling just imagine that people are animals in this model only one person will remain in this game and he will become a monopolist so what i want to say all competitions between people in material sphere of our lives will lead to monopoly because it's just optimal thing to do killing your competitors killing of course not literally kill someone but but uh, why not okay so in this situation in this model in capitalism being not human but animal is more optimal than being human and what about collectivism Collectivism is possible only when people realize that love in the broad sense of the word is much more profitable than material things. When the priority becomes a disinterested attitude to each other for the sake of increasing the feeling of love, then we will organically build both socialism and communism. Without this foundation, everything will collapse, as it has already happened in history. In USSR, after Stalin, those people which was in the government realized that they want to live better. And when you have this power, you can sell this power for money. It happened with uh, US government. And in 1991, USSR collapsed because of that. Because just a tiny percent of all USSR nation, this tiny percentage, wanted and have the ability to sell those power for money. And what I want to say, no matter what, how many socialistic revolutions will happen in our uh, next years, maybe, I don't know, uh, it doesn't matter. If people don't prioritize love more than material things. Only when people will realize that love, what, what is love, I described in my previous 
uh, in some of my previous videos. You can check this out. Uh, shortly, love is the thing which is contained in the box of ego. And when you open this box, it's like a sun drops his lights on everything which surrounds this sun. It's my definition of love, but not only mine. So, how to build this future society of socialism and communism? It can't be organically built by people which realize that love and sharing this love with people is more much is much more profitable for those people which share this love is much more profitable than oil gas woods and money so that's it we have a social network for personal growth named betty.life you can check this out by link in the description thanks for watching and goodbye